Chris, I've got like a bipolar disorder and also I get anxiety and depression. Um, I was born with a... Uh... I just asked that both my sons, James and Thomas, be healed of any sort of mental things that have come through okay. the generations for the or sons, anything Lord, they have. James in Jesus' Thomas. name, for the sons. I've got to thank God, thank you, Mark, because last year we went to Hemel Hempstead, Rosie and I, and I was standing in a line and I asked for healing for manic depression and inferiority complex. And I fell to the ground. And ever since then, and I've had this for about 60 odd years, this, this terrible infliction, I am healed by the power of Christ. And I want to thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. From a little girl, I think I was abused out in Germany. My father was in the forces and sexually abused. And I couldn't hold down any sort of job. I lost my nursing job. I suffered horrendous suicidal depressions. It cost me two marriages. And basically everything I tried to do, I lost friends. Uh, I would just be dead. I'd want to die. Um, I've managed to have two children and you prayed for them when I asked for a prayer. So just, talk, was just talk about the past and then we'll talk about how, how you are now. So right. you, you had, did you try to commit suicide? Yes. So yes. what happened there when you tried? I couldn't swallow the pills. <laughs> Were there other ways you tried to commit suicide? Uh, yeah, I was going to jump off a, a bridge, a railway line. And but, what stopped you? Well, I was worried that I might just end up crippled and um, couldn't find anywhere high enough. Um, and so what did the doctors say to you? They don't know. I've never gone in for a diagnosis because I don't believe in being on lithium. I've always just wanted to fight myself. I didn't want to be drugged up. I mm. did take some pills when I was 18 and nursing, but they just made me a zombie. Mm. So I couldn't do anything. I just wasn't there. So that was worse. Whereas with highs and lows, my highs were lovely, but my lows were just nothing. I didn't want to get out of bed, wash myself, feed myself. I hated myself. I was a nobody. So, Chris, how old are you now? I'm 67 now. And so you I'm suffered happy. that almost all your life? All my life. But now God has healed me so that I can heal other people. And were you located by the Holy Spirit or in the prayer line? Yes. Um, I stood in the prayer line. Okay. And what did you feel happen? Um, you blew on me. I said, manic depression, inferiority complex. And you just blew over me. You went, Whoa! and I fell on the floor and I was prayed over by the helpers. And I never have had since a depression, nothing since. So I am when, completely healed. When you fell on the floor, what did you feel happen? Oh, I was shaking, shaking, and I was paralyzed. I couldn't, I couldn't get up. And the girl praying over me seemed to know everything about me. She said all the right words. Um, you know, you're mm. healed, you know, and it was just incredible power. So powerful. I've never had anything like it in my life. There's Beautiful. nothing like the power of Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Chris. I've got like a bipolar disorder and also I get anxiety and depression. Praise the Lord and, and thank you. And when you got up, what tell us what happened? Um, I thought about my sons and I, I I located you later in the meeting. Could you please send that same prayer for them? And I fell on the floor again. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible it was. I felt I get walked over because you were almost finishing and I knew I had to save my children as well. <laughs> I just asked that both my sons, James and Thomas, be healed of any sort of mental things that have come through okay. the generations well, the or sons, anything Lord, they have. James in Jesus' Thomas. name, for the sons. God loves you. How are your boys now? They're, they're great. They're great. They're How's great. your relationship with them? Good, very good, very good. They don't because want to see their mum depressed or dead, so you have to carry on for your children, but it was hell before. All that uh, life, but 
care. I've got my life now. And, and I love you, Mark, for what you've done for me. And, and I thank well, God well, your work. What I did was blow into a microphone. What Jesus did was heal you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just look to the camera and talk to the people and someone out there suffering terrible depression and suicide and bipolar. And what a spiritual advice would you give them? Because you know all about this. Um, I lost my brother four years ago to suicide because I didn't know about Mark. Um, we did try and get healing for him, but you need to come to someone like Mark, someone that you know, and this is my testimony. Your life will never be the same again because God is, is there. He will heal you. It doesn't matter what anyone says. He has the power to heal in his timing, but he will heal you. And I have been healed. I have a life now that I never had a life like this. I was always waiting for the crash. My brother, he was nearly 60. He committed suicide because he had the same affliction. If we could have gotten to Mark, he would have been healed. I know that. So, Chris, you'd advise people that Jesus Christ has the power to heal and Complete. to come to come to Jesus Christ by faith. Come now and have your life transformed. The power is there. Just ask. Amen. Just lift your hands, uh, Chris. Just lift your hands. That's the love of God coming on you, Chris. That's the love of God coming on you. That's the love of God coming on you. That's Jesus Christ's love, his power coming on you now, Chris. Just receive it, Chris. Just receive it. That's his love and his power coming on you. It's the same love and power you felt in the Hemel, Hemel Hempstead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be filled with his love. Be forgiven in Jesus' mighty name. Be forgiven of your past. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Be forgiven of the darkness of sin. Be forgiven. Be born again of the Spirit of God. Chris, that's the Holy Spirit coming on you, coming on your soul. Be forgiven. Be loved. For God loves you, Chris, with an everlasting love. He will never forsake you. He calls himself your father. You are his daughter. Be adopted in Jesus' name. Thank you for my life, Lord. Thank you, my father. I love you, my father. God, thank you. Come and give Jesus a wave and say, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. What happened to you, Chris? Thank you, Lord. It's wonderful. Wonderful. It's wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> I love my father. You know, Chris, uh, the Lord healed you of the negative stuff, but then his power is there to bless you beyond measure. 